Hello everyone and welcome to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a hexagon like this one. It's uh, using three colours. Um, I'm going to use slightly different colours for the uh, one I'm going to make now. Um, but you'll need a colour for the centre, a colour like white maybe for this part and then another colour. So it's uh, it's nice and easy to make. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and um, hit the notification bell and you'll be informed when there are new videos. So uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using, this is Poundland Double Knit, yarn double knitting, and I'm going to be using another contrasting colour and some white, and they're all a DK weight. Now these two I got from Sainsbury's in the UK and this one is from Poundland. So I'm going to start with that one. I'm also going to use a 5mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a darning needle. So I'm um, just going to get some yarn out. And the centre of this uh, hexagon is made with um, a four chain rather than the magic loop. So you make a slip knot in any way that you actually prefer to make it. Um, and you chain four. So it's yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through. One last time. And then we join to form a ring by slip stitching into the very first chain. And we just insert a hook, yarn over and pull through both loops and now we've made a very small ring it will grow a little bit as we um, as we work so now we're going to chain two if you're a very loose crocheter you might want to chain three um, because this is the height of a treble crochet in the UK which is a double crochet in the US so we're going to do a total of 12. So this one counts as our first, so we're going to do 11 more. So to do that, we yarn over, go into the very center of the ring, yarn over and pull through. So we have three loops on our hook. And we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's a treble crochet in the UK or a double in the US. So all of our stitches are going to be into the centre of this ring. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over into the centre, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's a total of four because my two chain count as one and I've got three more. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to carry on until I have 12 and then I'll catch up with you again. Okay, so I have a total of 12 with my two uh, chain. So now I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the two chain to form a ring. So just insert, yarn over and pull through. Doesn't really want to come through because it's a chain which is a bit tighter. There we go. So now I've got my, my circle. So I'm going to chain two and in the same stitch that I've slip stitched in, I'm going to do another treble crochet. Remember that's a double in the US. Now each stitch around, we're going to do two. So where we have 12 stitches, we will end up with 24. We're just going to increase in every single stitch until we get all the way around and we'll have <clears throat> 24 stitches. Just that towel in the way. So just carry on, two in each stitch, and I will pause the video and I will meet up with you when I get back to the start. Right, so I've made it all the way back to the start and I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my two chain to make that ring. And I'm going to end off this color. You can 
just change colour if you want to in the normal way. But I find with this particular hexagon, it helps just to end off. So I'm going to do a chain, pull it downwards and my yarn through and it cinches it down. So there we are, we've got our circle. Now from this circle, we do one more row um, in a round and then we're going to start making the hexagon shape. So just let me um, move this yarn out of the way. All right, so now we get the white. Of course you can use any colour that you wish. You can, any colour scheme. Um, you can do them all pretty random and make a nice blanket of scrap yarn or you can do them all the same or some and some. So I'm going to join it at a different point because that way I can work over the yarn. I like to work over the yarn whenever I can. So I'm going to start here. I'm just going to insert my hook and I'm going to pull through my yarn and I like to just do a chain with both the tail and the working yarn. I pull it down a little bit and then I drop my tail and I shall work over it now. So I'm going to do a single crochet in the US which is a double crochet in the UK. So I'm just going to insert into the stitch, pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through. I know there were three on the hook but that doesn't matter just for this um, for, the for this particular part. So I'm going to chain two and skip one stitch and do another double crochet or single crochet for the US in the next stitch. Chain two and skip one and again go into the next stitch and we're going to repeat this all the way around until we get back to this part. It's quite simple. So at the end of it, you're going to have 12 gaps. 12 of these gaps all the way around. So we're gonna go into this one. Chain two, you can that one. So it's a bit difficult to see where your stitch would be. I think it's this one here, I believe. It's that one, yeah, it'd be there. I guess that's why it's easier to start where you left off because that part does always look a little bit tricky, getting stuck. So just keep going until we get all the way around. I'm going to pause the video and I shall meet you back at the start. Okay, so I'm on the very last one and this is where we're going to meet up. So I've done my two chain and I'm just going to slip stitch into that first double crochet. There we are. Now, if you wanted to just change the color, um, you can at this point because we're going to slip stitch into this, um, this gap here. So I need to get my other blue yarn out. Ow. <laughs> it's a very, very sharp yarn band on that. Uh, I'm going to just cut this off so I can move it out of the way. And I'm going to attach the blue. Just pull in some yarn out. So I'm going to slip stitch into the very next gap and do that just by pulling the new yarn through. And now what we're going to do is chain two. Now I always turn it over and I'm going to just secure with a little, it's my working yarn, is it this one? Or is it this one? It's this one. That's the one. So just to secure it with a little 
not like that just so it doesn't go anywhere okay so pulled it a little bit that's all and my chains are a bit tight now so I'm going to start again with those right that's it so I'm chain two and in this gap I'm going to do two more and I'm going to work gonna, that didn't really work out did it what's going wrong there that's it I looped my yarn somehow I'm going to do two chain and I'm going to work over these tails a little bit just to get them out of the way and I'm going to do two more in treble crochet or double crochet in the US in that gap so there'll be a total of three including these two chain so in the next one I'll work over the um, tails it doesn't matter at the moment I just want to get them out of the way for you so that it doesn't get in the way and stop you seeing so in the next one I'm going to do two treble crochet remember that's a, a double in the US now in the next stitch I'm going to do a double treble in the UK or a treble crochet in the US it does get confusing with the different terminologies so I'll do that again just in case you've not seen that before so for this stitch we yarn over twice go into the gap yarn over and pull up a loop so you have four yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the last two so that makes a longer stitch and then we're going to do two more treble crochets UK terms obviously double in the US so that has made a point now in the next gap we're going to do three just as we did in the first gap and that's our repeat we're going to do the three and then we're going to do the point I need to pull out some more yarn. Just bear with me a second. I'm going to make our next point. I'm going to just drop these tails now. They should be out of the way. So it's two normal treble crochets or double. And then we're going to do our double treble, which is a UK term, or a treble crochet, which is the US. So that's four loops and pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and then two more. Just the normal stitch and then three in the next one. And we're going to repeat those two sets, one after the other. So it's, you can see it's making, I'm going to make that stitch a bit longer, hang on. So you can see it's making the sides and the points. And so I'm going to carry on, pause the video, and I'm going to carry on and I shall pick up with you when we get back to this point. Okay, so I'm on my last one and as we started with our three, we are ending with the five stitches and that tail's getting in the way. So, I think I'll just, I'll work over it, that'll get rid of it. So, just do our five stitches as we've been doing all along. Two normal treble crochets, a double treble. That's the UK terms, obviously. Getting stuck on that, let's move it. It's only the yarn band, but it just keeps getting stuck on it. And then our last two and we've met back up again so we're just going to slip stitch into the top chain and that's what it looks like now it's looking more like a hexagon so in this next round we're just going to do kind of a solid stitch all the way around and what you'll find is we're going to do um, accentuate our little corners and there'll be seven stitches in between so 
we have started um, there's two see there's our tool stitch and we have two stitches and this is our third so if you count that that's the third one and then we go into the next one which is the fourth one we're just going to do normal treble crochet obviously I didn't go through both loops and um, that's a double crochet in the US so we're just going to do those all the way around my hooks catch in a little bit because of the shape of it I'm reviewing these at the moment so I'm trying to use them as much as possible and so we're going to keep going it's difficult with this angle so it's um not all the hooks for it really it's because I'm trying to show you guys so now we're at the big stitch so there's one two three four five so that would be those two make it seven so now we're on our corner I just need to pull some yarn out and what we're going to do in this corner stitch we're going to do one treble crochet one double treble this is obviously UK term it's confusing to use both oh so I don't want to do another one of those do I what am I doing that's where I was talking it gets confusing to do both all the time but and I don't want to confuse you so then we're going to do seven single this yarn gets caught up this is lovely soft yarn actually from Sainsbury's in the UK I've been quite impressed with it. I bought this to make a, a gingham blanket and I shall get around to that at some point. Okay, so where's our centre one? So we are now there and we're going to do our corner. So it is one double crochet in the US a treble crochet in the US just as we did the English terms last time and then another double crochet in the US just to so it's not confusing so then we do seven as before we're going along our side seven along the sides and then we do our corner again and that's as simple as it gets All the way around so I'll show you one more of the corner and then I'll pause the video and meet you back at the start so here we are we're going to do is that seven let me just count that didn't look right I always find this the center never looks right so that's one two three four five six seven it is Sometimes the center one never looks right to me. It doesn't hurt to just count along, make sure. And that one in the same stitch, and we've done our other corner. So if I show you, now it's kind of accentuating the shape of our hexagon. So I'm going to pause the video and keep working round with seven in the sides and our little corner until I get back here and then I'll show you what to do okay so I've just done my last little corner there well I'm just doing it now got to do one more stitch in there and then I've just got the last two remember we did five along here so this is the last two to make the seven along the corner oh, sorry the, the edge the side get my words in a muddle right so that kind of I'm going to just slip stitch into here the top chain and that completes it from what I did before I'll just make that loop bigger so that was how I ended off with this one but you can end it like that if you want to or you can do a row of single crochet in the US terms around the outside which of course is a double crochet for the UK and then that would just finish it off but I'm going to finish mine uh, like that because I kind of like them 
just as they are and you can join them um, as you go or you can sew them together or um, in any way you prefer you can do an invisible join and have them all different colors I'm just gonna that just needs sewing in as do all of these ends at the back but that's how you do the circular hexagon so I hope you like that and um, thank you very much for watching if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button and if you could like and share this video I would really appreciate it thank you for watching and bye for now